this is the real paradise on earth and it feels so good to be back after two long years. this trip is to live up the island life and to explore all my favorite spots with my friends. I'll be taking you guys with me on an adventure to the island's most beautiful secrets. First stop, Seti Bay, the island's toughest six hour hike. We're just starting the hike right now and we parked our cars here on the side of the road and this is the entry to the hike. Also, the thing in Guam, you gotta be aware of sword grass. These are sword grass here. And basically, they cut up your skin. Like this. Very fine, small cuts. Finish the hiking part and now we're in the jungle and we're gonna follow the river up all the way to the waterfall and then after that the waterfall we'll head back outwards on the river downwards into the beach. Okay, so we made it to the bottom of the waterfalls. This is, I believe, the first tier of the seven waterfalls. Some people actually hike up to the ropes. This is checkpoint, bamboo forest checkpoint, and we're about halfway there. One good thing about Guam hikes is basically anywhere you can kind of find food. So if you forget to bring snacks, we have plantains here. And Charles just told me that you even have mangoes later down in the hike. And obviously you got coconut trees everywhere. You can climb them. Looking for a tree. This one's pretty high. I don't know about that one. Oh, that one's nice. And that's very reachable right there. These coconuts. So if you come over here, like people like use their machetes and they cut up steps over here. So there's two steps right here. And basically, you just kind of put one foot there, and you want to just... Go up there, and these things just twist right off. Oh! <laughs> That's one. <laughs> and the other one. Oh, that looks good! That looks so good! There you go, Kel. Welcome home. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> A welcome gift from Charles. <laughs> from Teddy Bay. Oh, it's sweet. Here, try some. Can I try it? Yeah, it's a good machete. That's um, so good. Show us the mangoes you got. You actually got mangoes. Dude. Look for green, yellow. Look at that. Alan provides. Yep. Cheers. Never hungry. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm, so good! These are good. It's so juicy. It's like snack-sized mango. We found a little branch and we're shaving it down, trying to husk one of the old coconuts and we can get some food out of it. Right there. And that's oh, it's molded. <laughs> it's what? It's molded out. After crossing the Spanish bridge, we hiked back up the mountain and called it a day to prepare for another big adventure the next morning. Good morning, it's another beautiful day on the beautiful island of Guam. Charles, hey, what's up, bro? You ready? Yeah. You ready for this? Today we're yeah. going on a boat tour and we're going to be checking out two 
of some really dope spots. One is Agui Cove, it's my favorite diving spot. Not my favorite, but it's a really good spot. And the other one's gonna be, this exposure is killing me. And the second one's gonna be Hapudo Beach. I'm gonna be diving all day, it's gonna be hot, it's gonna be fun. After diving through all the amazing swim holes, we made our way up to the most beautiful secluded beach I've ever seen. Oh, oh shit, you good? Yeah, this one doesn't have steps. And it's slippery, right? Yeah, it's slippery. The island is just stunning from above, and I just can't get enough of it. So I asked my friend to see if he can take us up a little higher. And that one there, the yellow plane, that's a certified skydiving plane. Yeah, I really want to bring my parachute and jump out, but maybe I can make this happen next time. The shots I got though, they were just mind-blowing. What's up guys, so I'm here with Jed now. He actually landed yesterday and we're here at Gun Beach. There's some sick uh, it's things. Hot, it's called huts. That's huts. And we're trying to get the drone shot flying straight through it and into the ocean view. It's me sick. Three, two, two one. one, let's go. Oh, dude, we're near the airport. Oh, man. What do we do now? I have an idea. It's 5.30 a.m. in the morning and we're trying to get to a sunrise spot. Uh, it's called Marble, Marble Cave. But there's a lot of clouds, but then the other side it's like kind of bright and very colorful. So this sunrise has very strong potential. I can't really say how it's going to turn out. Hoping for the best. Marble Cave closed? 
Oh no. No. And right now we're taking another route, a little detour. See if we can still make it to the cliff side. Oh dead end! <laughs> wait. Wait. Wait, wait. Not dead end. We got the we're right. Going. We're keeping going. Oh somebody's house, bro. It's a sign that says Think again, asshole. You will be shot for trespassing. Rock, paper, scissors. Yeah. You gotta you have to go all the way down and you come. Okay. Alright, ready? Loser has to go. Okay. Get oh. shot. Paper, paper scissors. scissors. Shoot. Oh. <laughs> you still lost and I went early. <laughs> Why don't we check uh <laughs> I just remember we probably shouldn't. I was actually surprised. The sunrise did not disappoint. The way it was pouring earlier, I was ready to turn back. But I'm so glad I didn't. Right now I'm about to pick up my friend Gabby and we're about to go on a special dive. It's the shipwrecks dive. It's by far one of my favorite dives on the island. And along the harbor, it's just a bunch of shipwrecks just placed there from World War II. It was a long four hour dive, but the day wasn't even close to being over yet. Later, we went for a night dive at a place called Fisheye. We brought a few lights and let the magic happen. As amazing as it was, the true beauty of fisheye is actually during the day. It just transforms into a magical and vibrant aquatic ecosystem that's so full of life. 